Women Who Changed Everything, Part 4. In Philippines, Dr. Faye Villanueva del Mundo sold her house to build the first children's hospital in the entire country, lived on the second floor of the same hospital, did morning rounds until she was 99, and helped shape the modern pediatric healthcare system of the Philippines. She was born in 1911 in Manila. She lost many of her siblings to various reasons at a young age, but it was the death of her younger sister Elisa, who had wanted to become a doctor for the poor, that would define Faye's entire life. Faye decided she would carry that dream forward for Eliza. She graduated from med school in 1933 as class valedictorian and placed third in the National Medical Board exam. During her rotations, she saw how children in the provinces, especially in Marinduk, where her father was from, suffered from preventable diseases. She chose pediatrics, a decision that changed the lives of millions thereafter. After graduation, President Manuel Quezon personally offered to fund her postgraduate training in the United States. She's said to have attended Harvard Medical School, but that's a disputed claim. In 1941, she returned to the Philippines just before the Japanese invasion. When foreign nationals were detained at the University of Santo Tomas internment camp, she joined the International Red Cross and created a makeshift hospice for the children there. People began calling her the Angel of Santo Tomas. When the hospice was shut down in 1943, she was asked to lead a children's hospital ward under, under Manila city government. During the Battle of Manila, it became a full care center for massive casualties and was later renamed the North General Hospital. She served as its director until 1948. But bureaucracy frustrated her. She wanted a hospital built entirely for children. So, she sold her own home, most of her personal belongings, and took out a major loan to build one herself. In 1957, the Children's Medical Center opened in Quezon City, the first pediatric hospital in the Philippines. In 1966, it expanded with the Institute of Maternal and Child Health, the first of its kind in all of Asia. Dr. Del Mundo lived on the hospital's second floor and continued making early morning rounds well into her 90s. Her research shaped Philippine pediatrics. Pioneering work on dengue, polio, measles, over a hundred scientific papers, and a textbook of pediatrics used in Philippines medical schools. She, used, she designed a bamboo incubator for communities without electricity, organized rural teams to teach breastfeeding and nutrition, and pushed for midwives to be fully integrated into health programs. She was a devout Catholic and vocally advocated for family planning. Across eight decades, her work reshaped child health care. She won numerous awards, the Elizabeth Blackwell Award for Outstanding Service and to Mankind, so many more. the Ramon Magsay Award for Public Service, and she was named National Scientist of the Philippines. The she first was an honorary Filipino member of the American the Pediatric Society, Society and an advisory board member of the WHO's International Pediatric Association. She continued working into her 90s and passed away in 2011, three months before her 100th birthday. Millions of children across more than 60 years lived a good life into their adulthood because of her work, research, determination, and compassion. She didn't just build a hospital, she built a movement, she built a system, she built a future. Very inspirational. Be gentle with yourself.